You know, there are some times when you really should trust your gut instinct. This is where I am, the giant table, if you remember from last episode. Behind the bookshelf. One, two, three. Uh, still need two, but I knew there would be some back here. I just knew it. Right, the last two. One is there. One is right where my cursor is. Let's go get them. Nah. All right. I think it was because I was so focused last time on not getting my butt burnt that I panicked and totally missed picking it up. Oh, oh, oh! Don't stand in there. It's here, safe. See, I, I did not know I missed them here. Otherwise, I'd have just come and picked them up. So this should be the last token for the level. Good. Right. That means we can get on with the rest of the episode. Yay. Hello and welcome back to Fur Fighters. Last time, well, we kind of bullsed up Dino downstairs. But this time we're going to rectify that by actually doing good in Dino upstairs. Woohoo! Alright, welcome to Dino Upstairs. This place is actually my favourite place in Dinotopolis. There's a lot of stuff in here that I love. So get ready for a nice, fun level. Not that the last ones weren't fun. But there's a lot of stuff up here that makes me smile. And is well thought out. Uh, this is the view. In case you was wondering. We're in some kind of metropolis as the name would suggest. And this is the dinosaur's bedroom that we're in to start off. Oh. oh, well, you're an idiot. They like to roll, so do that. And you missed. All right, you can just run away, but I'll shoot you in the back. Hopefully we get all the tokens this time around and I don't have to do the whole 20-something minutes in the level looking for five tokens. It wasn't fun, trust me. <laughs> uh, okay, I already see that we need bungalow. I already see that we need bungalow. Instantly tries to jump something he can't reach. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's up there. I remember now. We have to jump under shoes. On, so we jump on the shoes down here, then onto the heel part. Oh, but as as always in the typical fashion of me, I always fail in jumping on this. Okay, try again and jump. Then you jump on the handle, then the lip, and voila, you're up. Da da dee, I bungalow. All right, now let's get everything in here. Miss nothing. Right, on here, and the bed. It's a big, big comfy bed. I'd like a bed like this. How do I get up to these? I don't remember. Oh, there's a button. That's the time currently in this world, so for those who can't read analog, it's around about just gone 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. depending on depending on it's, well it's daylight out so I'd say it's 3 p.m. 3 a.m. would not be that bright although I don't know it might be in this world who knows okay so this this button at the side of the bed doesn't turn on a TV because there's no TV this this button does something that always confused me until I got older and now I know what it does so the bed raises and just basically shakes yeah it shakes the bed up now we'll say it's best not to be bungalow for the next part because he's tall as hell but you can nip in and out and nab tokens from underneath the bed basically but I don't think there's anyone else in here to change into so we'll come back in just a second we are now in the bedroom it's the Papa Dinosaur with a tweak baby. Well, 
No, oh, you're old. Nice. Ah. Go away. See ya. Okay. So this is the dad dinosaur. Ooh, wow. Um, we've, so we've seen the mother in the downstairs, and then you saw the the kid. So no, you saw the kid in the downstairs with the mother, and uh, yeah, the rompus room didn't have a dinosaur. Yeah, they kind of missed the trick on that. The rompus room didn't have a dinosaur, but the downstairs had but uh, had two, whereas upstairs has one. So if you remember, the mum's downstairs cooking dinner. He's upstairs having a bath. Fun. Right, let's go get those tokens under the bed before I forget them. And I'm like, why am I missing like nine tokens? Because you're an idiot. Right, so go. You've got to. It kind of goes like a, a, a wave, like in the sea. Ah. So it kind of goes in, then out, sort of thing, like a tide. And I'm talking bollocks. Whoa! Okay, so that's that one. Oh, oh, this one's going to be dodgy. This one's going to be dodgy. And for those who don't know why the bed is actually shaking because of the button, it's it's for a massage reason. It helps um, it helps lull you to sleep if you have a bad back. Yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, um, that's that one. Oh, one more, one more. Just the one more, then we'll continue onwards. And boop! I believe that's this room finished. Oh, actually, no, there might be in there. I didn't go in here. Uh, eh. Can't see anything in there. Can't see anything. Okay, so we're clear. Clear of tokens. Ah, okay. Tokens there. Damn it. I always knew. Always knew there'd be something I'd miss. We would have missed those, and I would have been. And I've now got to go through the whole level again. God damn shit. Nice vase. Totally doesn't look like Skooma. Oh right. Grab you. So there's 19 tokens in this part of the bedroom alone. Ooh. Just double checking, I really don't trust myself. Jump in. Anything in here? No, no, not this section. Next bit. Anything in the next bit? Just Amu. Amu. Okay, just Amu. All these boxes and stuff are, are with logos we've seen before, so we don't need to look at those. Again? Right. Let's press on. I'm assuming we're going to need you. I believe I remember why I need you as well. Alright. Any bads trying to shoot me? No. Okay, so here comes the first baby. Yeah, turns out the dinosaurs don't bath in regular water. They bath in lava. I can't remember if this stops that. I believe it does. I think that drains the lava away. Yes, it does. So now I can jump on the soap and rescue Marie. Eh, come on, there we go. So yeah, so that would that means that that guy is actually in a giant bath of lava. Fun. Come on, shoot me, shoot me. That's what I thought. Oh fudge, oh fudge, where are you? Okay, so in there there's going to be a bunch of tokens. I could just tell. Ah, missed me. Well, someone just pecked someone to death. Ah, can't beat grenades. Alright. Ah! Oh, right to the face! Come on. Thank you. Okay, so we climbed the bath towel. A lovely citrus orange. And there you go. <sighs> a tub of lava. Joy. So you have to be super freaking careful here. Oh, why did I look? Why am I looking in there? There's nothing in there. 
and there never has been it. Is there something? If there's a secret in there, I would love to know. I have never been in there if there is. Okay. So. We've got a bunch of pot, uh, potion bottles and things. These things we can't actually get just yet. We need to climb up. And this is a puzzle to, to get the Tweak Baby in there. So th this room is our next kind of room to clear. So we need to run along the edge. Dodging his feet. Because you will get squashed if, you don't, if you're not careful. And as I probably don't need to tell you, don't fall into the bathtub. Unless you Tweak, Tweak can actually fall into the bathtub. He is resistant to lava. He is a dragon after all, so that kind of makes the sense. Oh, and yes, we do need to go back to Juliette again. Eh. Oh. Oh, there's some ammunition back there I need. Ammo! Climb this other citrus towel over here. To him! I wondered if dinosaurs wash inside their ears. Maybe you should check. Maybe I should check. Maybe not. That just sounds gross. So yeah, as you can probably tell, you have to actually go inside his head. And there's a reason you go inside his head. Uh. Eh. I'm going to have to climb back up here again at some point. But I'll just do the whole climbing inside his head thing first. Uh. Yep. In we go. Because there's the dinosaur's brain. And there's his nose. Beautiful level design. Love it. Shoot his brain. He gets a headache. And then you fly out his nose. Eh, eh. To this glass. Make sure you go to that glass. Because otherwise you have to do the whole thing again. Because you, can't, you, don't, you cannot climb the outside of the glass. Observe. See? He does stay that way for a while. And he rips his paper in two, puts it together perfectly. Anyway, we have Zweek. Velociraptors demolish hadrosaurs. Sport. Okay. Then this one says, The Sunday Cretation. Okay. Hopes of survivors fade as... Silence from surface reaches 65 millionth year. Surface of what? Like, if you want to pause and read the rest of that, go ahead. I left it up long enough. Right, aim for this one next. Once you jump from that thing. And give it a thorough search, because, yeah, don't be like me and be like, yeah, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Like, give it a proper thorough search. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I don't think there's anything on this level. Nope. And in this one is nothing. And then I believe the next one is the one I've already been in. Oh, no. It's just the ground. Right. Now I need to go back to Juliet because there's more stuff to do. Yay. Run, 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 you cutie tweak. <sighs> also, if you do go swimming with tweak, you don't actually get anything from it. Dee -dee. So we need to go into there. And then we need to go into the actual, I think it's the sink next to him. Yeah, so same as before. Whoa! Almost jumping in lava. You can climb out. Don't worry if you do jump, accidentally fall in. You can climb out. That was close. That was close. That was very close. Don't ever do that again. So this, I believe... Well, I'd love to read it, but it's not... It's not very good. This is Chloe Saurus... Something or other. So that's a, a, I guess that's a perfume for the lady, Chloe Saurus. Honey, what would you like for Christmas? Get me some more of that Chloe Saurus. Okay, I'll get you that. See? I don't know why they suddenly went on New Yorker, but they did. See? <laughs> okay. Uh, don't need to go to him anymore. Did that. 
eh, 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 oh, so glad that you could, wow, frames, where did you go? Okay, into the sink, or at least onto the tap. Jump off of this, and then you can la, yeah, there's nothing in the sink. That actually looks more like milk. Or like a golden fluid than water. It doesn't look like water. If that is supposed to be water, that is not water. Sorry devs, that does not look like water. I mean, it didn't even look like water in uh, the Dreamcast. Okay, those two amus I do need. I don't have any shots for the smart gun. Amus for the green orb of death. Right, get Tweak, because he's awesome. Once we've been into those bits of the cupboard, we should be done with this section of the level as well. Which is um, about half the level. Surprisingly. Uh, there. It's not a very big one, this level. Ew. Steve, from Borderlands. Is that you? Ew. Okay. Um, anything in... I'm checking everywhere, guys. I'm checking everywhere. I'm not having them say, Oh, we'll have a token here. They'll never find it. Contraband, that is. Mmm, contraband. The best scent is the one of contraband. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing in there. And just to show you, I'm not telling porkies. Okay, so the initial impact hurts him for some reason, but he does he is able to swim and not get hurt. Which is kind of kind of odd that the, like, the initial impact actually hurts him. Alright, so here we have a toilet and a bidet and a basket and a bear. Any other bees? Bog. Bog, bidet, basket, bear. All of that and more next time on Fur Fighters. I have been Sausage. Take care and goodbye.